This puzzle is called Shape Matching by SKTX. Uh, I got it from the Sudoku Testing Submission channel of the CTC Community Discord. Uh, let's take a look at the rules. So, um, normal Sudoku rules, of course, just one through nine everywhere. And then equal lines. So, um, every line will add up to the same amount. So, let me just highlight some random stuff. So the digits along pink, whoop, along pink will add up to the same as the digits along green, and add up to the same as the digits along yellow. Uh, so like if this was a three and a four, this would have to add up to seven, and this would also have to add up to seven, for example. Um, and digits can repeat on the line if allowed by other rules. So like these two digits could both be fours, but obviously you couldn't have both of these be fours because they're in the same box. Um, and that's the one rule. I think I did an SKTX puzzle on the channel earlier, like a couple weeks ago, and they're always very tricky. I'm gonna have my notepad ready so that we can keep some notes if we need to. Um, yeah, so let's go. I'll put a, a link to the puzzle down in the description if you wanna give it a try yourself. So it'll probably be on the harder side, uh, is my guess. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's get going. So the first thing we need to do is figure out, or at least narrow down, the um, the sum. What the sum can be, what the lines can add up to. Oh, this is... Notepad always insists that the text has to be incredibly small when I open it up. Okay, so... At a minimum, or at, sorry, at a maximum, we're adding up four cells to make two full lines. So if we, if we just look at this, Yellow and pink can have at most six, seven, eight, and nine in them. Um, and we have to divide those evenly among the two lines, of course. So that'd be, if we add up those digits, that's 30 divided by two. So at most, uh, 15. So it's less than or equal to 15. But really, it's not even 15. 15 isn't quite possible. Because we also have this digit here. If we made it 15, and we have these two, the two 15 pairs, well, what are we going to put here? This also needs to be a 15 pair, and 15 doesn't work. Um, and in fact, I don't... Yeah, so it's, it can't actually be 15. If, if this was 15, this would have to be a 15 pair as well, because they're in the same row. Uh, and obviously, yeah, they're, I mean, they're just two cells, so it has to be a pair. <laughs> um... And we can't do repeats anyway. Uh, so I don't think that, yeah, this works. Like, we just can't put anything. The The biggest digit we could put in here is 5, which would make this a 10, which is obviously broken. So it can't be 15. So it's less than 15. What if we, do we try to go with minimums or do we try to see exactly what could work here? I guess minimum would be 6, I think. If we did 1, 2, 3, no. Minimum is 10. Right here. Um, so 1, 2, 3, 4 is the smallest we could put in here, um, and, whoops, and that seems to work at the moment to me, so 10 is less than n, uh, is less than 15, is less than or equal to n, sorry, than is less than 15. Um, let's look at this again, though. So... What about 14? Does Can 14 actually work? There's two ways to make 14, 5, 9, and 6, 8. Now that does free up the 7 to be here, but this can't be another... The only way to make 14 is if this is another 7. So this can't actually be... 15. It can't actually be 14 either, so it has to be less than 14. Um... What about 13? Now 13, we have a third option. We could have... There are three different ways to make 13. It could be... Uh, how do I want to do this? It could be 4 plus 9, it could be 5 plus 8, or it could be 6 plus 7. Whoops. Whoops. Um, so, pink could be 1. Yellow could be another. And then let me... I guess I can just make this blue. Excuse me, sorry. Um, so pink... And yellow and blue, and we could, you know, assign these however we wanted. Yellow, pink, blue. And then we could even come over here, and this one can't be yellow or pink, so this would be blue. This one 
can't, this would have to be yellow as well. This one would be pink, and that seems to work just fine. As 13 seems to work just fine. Um. Hmm. So we have three different options. N is 10. No, sorry, four different options. 10, 11, 12, or 13. So what can we do here? If we made it 10, maybe we can work our way up from the bottom. Let me just delete the colors for a second. If this is 10, this is 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's just assume n equals 10 for the moment. Then this digit would have to be a high digit. Because in, in a pair that adds to 10, you have one low digit and one high digit. So we'd have a low digit, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we'd have a high digit, 6, 7, 8, or 9. But is that a problem at all? I don't see why. Hmm, this is tricky. Maybe it's like... Hmm. So this would be a low digit and a high digit. Let's just change these colors real quick. So we can kind of just... Blue will be low digits, pink will be high digits. So this needs one low digit, one high digit. So let's just put it, just for right now, we'll put the low digit out there. But this needs to add to 10. What's the highest digit? We could put a 6 on this line, couldn't we? If we did 6, 1, 1, 2, that would work. We could, we could do a high digit on this, one high digit on this line, actually. But then this is going to be broken, won't it? Now we're just, we're just getting into too many ifs, I think. I don't know how to... Because we... We can't have this be 10 when we've already used three small digits. But, yeah, I don't... I don't know if we're actually working towards proving anything that way. This needs one low digit. So the, the thing I was thinking was that we were going to have a lot of low digits in order to add up four digits to equal ten. Now there can be repeats, so we could have a five on there, or even a six that we just saw, that's possible. But is that too many low digits for this kind of middle-ish area? And I, I guess this needs at least two low digits on it. If this was ten, this would need at least two low digits on it. We could do 1 plus 2 is 7, we could do, you know, 1 plus 4 is 5, but it needs at least 2, or, it, could we do 2, 3, 5, we, we can't, we, this needs exactly 2 low digits on it. So that means we get, if we include 5 with the high digits, then there's going to be 1 low digit, 1 high digit on here. And then both of these would have to be low digits. Whoops, both of these would have to be low digits. And this would have to be a high digit. This would have to be a low digit. I don't know if I'm working through this the right way. I feel like I'm not. So this, we could have two low digits on it, which is what I said is exactly how it's going to work with adding to 10. Um, we don't know where they're going to be, but that's fine. But this can't be a low digit then. So then this is a low digit. I don't see how I'm breaking the puzzle, although this is obviously very constricted, using up all the low digits all the time, but we don't even know that n equal, has to equal 10. I feel like I'm going about this the wrong way. Maybe it's a... Hmm. I was going to say, maybe it's like a math thing. I mean, obviously it's a math thing, but... Maybe it's what's not filled. So if this is 10, or if, if n equals 10, then this equals 20, this equals 25, and this equals 35, which isn't a problem. This, 
Maybe it's here. Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe this is, maybe this is gonna help. And actually, this one as well. Yeah, I think this is, maybe, maybe not. So this is 10. If n equals 10, then this is one full, full bar. The minimum for five cells is 15. So we do one, two, three, four, five. So this, this equals 15 minimum. Which means we have to have at least five here, which means this is at most five. So this is 10, so this is at least 5, this is at most 5. At least 5, at most 5. What if we come down here? It should be the exact same situation. This is 10, this is at least 15, so this is at most 5, this is... Sorry, this is at least 5, this is at most 5. And now we've used all the low digits. Because the only way this could be at most 5 is if this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. Is that a problem? Is these would all have to be high digits or five? And then we make these low digits. Just I'm gonna delete that. And we have one low and one high on each of these lines, that's not really a problem. I don't see that ten is a problem. And in fact the more ways I look at this, it seems I'm I feel like I'm convincing myself that 10 must be the problem because it's constrained, but not overly constrained. Maybe it's 13. Maybe we need to work down, and we need to look at 13 again. I thought 13 was working, but maybe it wasn't. Yeah, if we can rule out other options, that would be good. So we have three different ways to make 13. We can do 4, 9. We can do 5, 8. We can do 6, 7. So these two must be different, obviously. These can't be the same pair. And this must be a different pair as well, because it shares, a, like, this digit can't be on either, the, either of these other lines. So let's say this is 4, 9. This is 5, 8. And this would be 6, 7. And this could work. Obviously, we could rearrange these pairs as much as we want, but just giving examples of pairs that would work. Okay, so this pair can't be yellow, because it sees both both digits see this yellow, and it can't be red, so it must be blue. This one can't be red or blue, so it must be yellow. This one can't be um, blue or yellow, so it must be pink. So now, oh no, that doesn't... So this pink goes down here somewhere. And similarly, this blue goes up here somewhere. Okay, oh no, never mind, I was thinking I just cracked it, but I did not, I did not crack it. Let me just finish coloring these a little bit. This is yellow, then this is yellow. Now yellow must go up here, on that line, and yellow, dark yellow must go there. And dark pink must go down here. And dark blue must go up here. Which two digits aren't on, or which three digits, one, two, and three are not on the line. Yeah, this must this would be a one, two, three. This would be one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one of these would be a one, two, three as well. So we know these lines add up to twenty six in total. And we already have yellow. We already have both yellows, so we know the two yellows add up to 13 by themselves. Right. Because we have light yellow, we have dark yellow. So this would be 1, 2, 1, 2 at a minimum. At the very minimum. So we dark blue and dark pink would have to add up to 7. And that's not possible. Is that really what I'm supposed to do to prove that that's not 13? That is tricky. Let's, let me go through that again. So, each line is adding to 13 in this hypothetical. Each line is adding to 13. Um, oh, I'm just looking back at the description, and, the, and SKTX says that the initial steps might be tricky. So, uh, yeah, I guess this, this might be what they're going for. So, anyway, so this is 26. 
because each line is 13 in this hypothetical. We already have light yellow and dark yellow, which we know by definition adds up to 13. So that means the other digits, the other six digits, must add to 13. The minimum we can make the outside digits is 1 and 2 pairs, so that would be 6, which 13 minus 6 is 7, so dark blue and dark pink would have to add to 7, but the minimum that two digits that add to 13 separately could be is 4 plus 5, which would be 9, so it's not 13. So n cannot equal uh, 13. And actually, we don't have to recolor anything for this. Because there are only three ways of making 12 as well. It could be 3 plus 9, 4 plus 8, or 5 plus 7. Now, instead of 1, 2, 3 being the leftovers, it's 1, 2, 6 being the leftovers. So this is 1, 2, 6 instead of 1, 2, 3. Um, now, does this still break? So this is uh, the same situation, exactly. We have two lines summing total in total to um, 24, 12 times 2. We have both yellows on the line, so that takes out one of the pairs. Sorry, so that takes off uh, one 12 sum. So that means the other six digits need to add to 12. which at a minimum is 1, 2, and 1, 2 out here, which means in here we would need, which adds to 6. So we need blue and pink to add to 6, but the minimum we could do it is 3 plus 4, which is 7. So I don't think it can be 12 either. And now we have to get rid of the lines, or get rid of the colors. So n equals 10 or 11. Now the problem with 10 and 11 that there are three, or sorry, there are four ways of making both. Um, 1 plus 9, 2 plus 8, 3 plus 7, 4 plus 6, obviously, and then we could also do 2 plus 9, 3 plus 8, 4 plus 7, 5 plus 6, with either a 5 left over or a 1 left over. So obviously one of these is broken. We need to figure out which one. Hmm. So if this was... A, I, I've done so much with 10 that I'm starting to think the 10 is the right... Like, I, I looked at 10, I don't know how many different ways, it was like four different ways, and they all seem to work. Um, so let's look at 11 and hope it breaks that way. So this would add, if, if n equals 11, which would be the, the this right column over here, oops, this the right column over here, um, is, uh, this would be 22, which can work just fine. So this would be 23. That doesn't seem like a problem. If this is 11, this adds up to a minimum of 4, but could be higher, which makes this as... Yeah, this could be really whatever it wants to be. If this is 4, this is a minimum of 7. Which is probably fine. Hmm. And again, again, this... I guess in both ways, this is one full line. And then this will be the same minimum. Right, because this if this is 10, this will be a minimum of 5. If it's 11, it's a minimum of 4. Which means these two have the same maximum values. So this is either maximum of 7 if it's 11, or maximum of 5 if it's um, 10. But both 10 and 11 basically work the same to this point, looking at it this way. So does is this is this broken in one of the cases? If this is 10, I've, I've done so much with 10 and it's always worked, so I feel like it's 10, but I also feel like 10 is, in it, separately, I feel like 10 is the thing that's going to break, because I don't know how I would break 11. Um, but not break 10 at this point. Anyway, so let's look at, if this is, let's think, let's go back to 10. If we assume n equals 10, we'll just leave that highlighted so we can remember which one we're assuming. If this is 10, these are minimum of 5. Maximum of 5. So these would all be low digits. So we 1, 2, 3, 4. 
So these would be one, two, three, four. These would be high digits. What about here? This would all be like this. So this would have to be a low digit, and this would have to be a high digit. So this is another low digit. And we say this... So this would add up to a minimum of 21. Because six digits, you do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You add up all those digits, that's 21. So six cells has a minimum value of 21. We know this is 10, so these add up to a minimum of 11. If we make this 1, 2, this is 7. We could make this a 4 and a 6, and that seems to work. And this would be 7, um, would be 1, 6, or 2, 5, I guess. And then this could be, what are the ways to make 10 and 3? That's 1, 2, 7. Doesn't work because that would break. 1, 3, 6. That would work. And then 2, 5. Sorry, 2, 3, 5. Which would also work. It would always be 3 and then the other pair here. Which would work. Which would throw a 3 onto this line. Because we have 3's here and 3's here. We would need a 3 in this column. Couldn't put it along here or along here, so 3 would be up here, which means this is either 1, 6, 3, or 2, 5, 3. Oh, but this would have to be, wait, if this is 3, 4, this has to be 1, 2. And we need a 1 or a 2 in here. We said this has to be a minimum of 4. Wait, yeah, I I skipped over, we broke this earlier. I said earlier that this is uh, a maximum of 5, because this is a minimum of 5, and right now it's obviously 3, which is less than 5, so 10 doesn't work. Okay, let me go back to when I broke the puzzle. Okay, so I, th I think right here is a good place to look at this. So this has to be 1, 2, 3, 4, that's the only way of making 10 in 4 cells. Which means this needs a high digit since we can't use a low digit because we just use all four of them. Okay. Now this is 21 minimum, which makes this 11 minimum. The only way to make 11 is if we make this 1, 2, make this something that adds to 7, and then this is 4. Oops, sorry. Um, I didn't realize it was already 250. Uh... Where was I? Um, this adds to 7, makes 11 plus 10, that's 21. So this works down here, but once we come up here, we can't use a 1 or a 2 up here, but we said this has a maximum of 5, because this is a maximum of 5, because this is a minimum of 5, because this is a minimum of 15, and this adds up to exactly 10. This is a minimum of 5, this has a maximum of 5, and we just said it has to be 3, 4. So I think it must be... It must be 11. One left over. So n equals 11. So let's just delete everything. Now 1, 2, 3, 5 is where we're at. Okay. Sorry, I just need my to give my brain just a second to recharge. This must be one, two, three, five. That's the only way to make eleven in um, four cells. Bring back up Notepad. I accidentally clicked out of that. Okay. So this doesn't have to. Be, this could be a six or this could be a four even. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be. So what can we do now? Um, so 1 can never be on any of these pair lines, so that means 1 is going to be across the middle here, because we need to put a 1 in uh, column, or sorry, row 5. Which means these add up to 
Okay, that's interesting, actually. So, the minimum you can do four cells without a one is 14. If 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, 2 plus 3 plus 4, plus, yeah, I did the right number of numbers. Um, that's 14. So, these add up to 7 on average. Um, but total of 14 maximum. Sorry, 14 minimum. 14 minimum for these pink cells. 14 minimum. We said these were uh, 15 minimum. This is exactly 11, so this is 4 minimum. 4 minimum here, so we, we could say, let's just say 4 here, and we said, and the same situation is going to be for here, so this is 4 minimum. So this is 7 maximum, this is 7 maximum, but the pinks add up to 14. So we must they just must be 7 and 7. Now obviously it's not literally the number 7 or literally the number 4, but it must be a pair that adds up to that amount. I don't know if I explained that well enough. Let me see if I can think of a better way of explaining that. So this, because there are 5 cells here, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 minimum. If we put all 5 of the minimum values in here, this is a minimum of 15. This is exactly 11, so this is a minimum of 4. 4 is the smallest that these two digits could add up to. But it could be higher. Which means that this is the, the most that these two could add it up to is 7. The same situation is true down here. This is a minimum of 15. This is exactly, or sorry, exactly 11. So this is a minimum of four. So this is a maximum of seven. But without using a one, four cells add up to a maximum of 14. Actually, wait, am I not proving the thing I think I'm proving? If I make this, let me see if I, I know, I think I am proving the thing I am, if, so, the fours are the maximum, sorry, the fours are the minimums and the sevens are the maximums. So if I make this add up to five, this would go down to six, then this would have to go up to eight, but then for this to work, this would have to go down to three, but we said this adds up to a minimum of four. So we can't up one of the sides. The fours can't go up because it will then push the opposite sides down. I think that's a better way of explaining it. So this must be exactly four. These must add up to exactly seven and without a one. Um, and these can't be three then. These can't be four. This can't be a one because we have a one, three pair here. Okay. Um, where can we look next? So this is what's left in this. We have the ones here. Then we have six, seven, eight, nine, which doesn't really give us that much information. This is two, three, four, five. I guess that's almost a quadruple. Same with down here, almost a quadruple for whatever that's worth. What about this? This, mu these, this must be like almost given. This must be two, because this adds up to a minimum of 14, this must be like just the lowest digits. This, this is just two, four, five. Oh, which just makes this a three. Makes this a four, this is a one, this is a three, this is a one, this is a three. This is not three, four any longer. This four makes this not a four. So we have a two, five pair here. One of these is a four, sure. Uh, these are six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now we can get another digit here, I believe. Oh, and this can't be a one, so this is a one. That's fine. But I think we can get a, a digit here. So this is a high digit, so this must be a corresponding low digit. But we already know here that this is one, two, three, five. So this can't be a two, a three, or a five. It must be four, which gives us a seven, which means neither of these can be seven. This can't be a four. One of these is a seven. Oh, and in fact, this 3, 4, this can't be a 3 or a 4, so this can't be a 7 or an 8. Is that right? Yeah. So this must be a 7. It must be the 7. It's the last place in the box for a 7. This can't be a 7. One of these is a 7. Okay. Um. Oh, this can't be a 2 or a 5. I literally have 2 5, so this is... Sorry. Sorry, one second. I'm not sure what's happening. Uh, someone's calling me, I think.
Sorry about that, just had to take care of something really quickly. Where were- I think we just got this, let me just hit undo real quick. Yeah, we just got the 3, then the 8, which rules out the 8. Oh, this can't be 1 or 3. Okay. We don't have any similar thing over here, unfortunately. I guess we know 1 and 3 are up here. I guess we know 3 is in here somewhere, but that's not super helpful. Uh, one is down here. Oh, this can't be a four. This is the four. Puts a four up here. Um. Okay, so seven can't be down here. So seven is in one of these two cells. That's not super helpful. Uh huh. I'm a bit at a little. Maybe this is more restricted than I'm realizing. Let me look at combinations of three digits that add to 11. I think we're going to need that. Whoops. I'm going to copy it and put it here. So these are all the combinations of three digits that add to 11. And it can't have a four. I don't know why I'm doing it like this. Okay. So it's one of these three. Since it can't have a four. Does that... I guess it can't have a five either. Because if, if it had a five, it would have to be two four. Yeah, if it has a five, it has to be two four is the other two. And if it doesn't have a four, that means it can't have a five. So five is down here somewhere. Um, I don't see, I, mean, I guess it must have a 1 or a 2, or both. And a 1 is forced out of this, and a 3 is forced in, but it could be... I guess it has, it has 2 of 1, 2, 3, that's a better way of saying it. But it doesn't necessarily have to be 1 and 3. Actually, 2 is forced down here as well. We have all these small digits forced down here. So, so this is, has, it doesn't have a 5, and it also doesn't have 1 of 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, or 3, which is going to be in these three cells as well. Oh, it can't have 1 and 3. Okay, no, I'm just seeing this. So we have 1, 3 pairs looking over, so 1 and 3 are down here. At most, we can have 1 of 1 and 3, which means we must have 1 or 3 on it. Every option has a 1 or a 3 on it if it does not have a 4. So now it can't be this option. Let me just try to space out the options that are possible. Because I think this list will be coming handy like up here and over here as well, so I don't want to just delete stuff off the list, but I do want to kind of keep track of which ones we know. So we, we must have a 2. So one of these is a 2, which means this is a 5, and this is a 2. 5, 2. Unfortunately, that doesn't go any farther. I guess this is 2, 6, or 2, 8. That doesn't, that doesn't go any farther either, unfortunately. Hmm. That definitely seemed promising when I realized that there must be a 2 on here. 2 up here. This can't be a 5, so this is not a 5. So this is a 1, 3, 5 down here, and that can't be a 5. I've said that a couple times. So we need a 7 in here. One of these is a 7. Is there any reason why one of these can't be a 7? I do not see why. Darn. Okay. What are these options? What, what's this option? This can't be 3, 8, because there's a 3 there. It can't be a 4, 7, because of the 7 there. So it's 2, 9, or 5, 6. And same... No, this one could be 4... No, this one can't be... This can't have a 4 either. So this is the same 6, 9. These are the same thing, because this can't be a 7 or a 4, or have a 3 on the line at all. So 4 is up here somewhere. Let's put the 4 up there. Which puts a 4 across here, which means this must be a 4. Because if we tried to put a 4 on this line, it would put a 7 on the line as well. So this must be the 7. Which puts a 7 in one of these two spots, and it can't be in column 7 because we already reserved that one. That seven, I guess. That, that one seven. 
it's hard when, like, trying to use one, I guess, as a pronoun for the number seven, but it's also a number itself, so it's confusing. Um, so seven is over here. If this is a seven, this would have to be one three, right? Yeah. It had to be one three, and it can't have a three, so this can't be a seven. Seven over here looks like it works. Actually, this can't be a four, because I, I ruled that out, I guess. Hmm. Okay, so what can this be? Okay, actually, here's something that I... This must be a 3-8, actually. Threes are looking over here. This must be a 3-8. One thing I'm just realizing... So this pair is either 2-9 or 5-6. This is, must be 2-9 or 5-6. Yeah. Um, this... So no matter what, this has a 6 or a 9 on it. This is a 6 or a 9. So this is a virtual 6-9 pair, so this can't have a 6 or a 9. If we tried to make this a 6, for example, this would be a 9, and then this line would be unfillable. So this can't be a 6 or a 9. So this can't be a 2 or a 5. Um, that's just a small thing. This is probably the big thing over here that we need to think about. But I don't see what we need to think about it. <laughs> oh, um, I guess 2 and 5 are down here. Because they can't be in this top row, so they must be down here. I don't know if that's helpful. This digit is going to be up here somewhere. Oh, 8. Where does 8 go? 8 must go here, in box 6. So this is an 8, which puts an 8 down here and means this is not an 8. I guess this is 6, 8, 9, and this must be 6, 7, 9. Hmm. Okay. 1, oh, so where does, this must be, what's left is just 1 and 4, which puts a 1 down here as well. So this is 1, 2, 5. With one of these being a 1, what's left is a 9 and a 6. 6 and a 9. Okay. And uh, that doesn't help at all. We don't know. <laughs> this this digit is one of those two digits, but we, we don't know which. We do not know which, unfortunately. Okay. Where can we restrict a bit more? What about this one? I think the only thing we know is it's not 4, 7, since, like, literally that's... 7 is there. Oh, and we also know that 7 is over here in the box, too. Uh, 3 must be over here somewhere. But it doesn't have to be on the line. I think it could be on the line. Oh, wait, here's something. Where can we put a 1 in this column? Can't be any of this stuff down here, and it can't be here. So 1 is on this line, which means there's a couple options here. One two eight seems to work. One three seven does not work. One six four. So this is a four or an eight. This is a one two or a one six. Is that right? So this could be one two eight. Eight has to go over here because of this eight. Could cannot be one three seven because seven it can't have it can't have a three on the line. One four six would also put the four over here. Hmm. We've certainly narrowed things down, but not quite. Not quite ruled anything out. If this was one two, this would be a five, this would be a six. This is 1, 6. This would be a 7, 9. This would be an 8, 6. This would be a 9. That doesn't seem to be a problem. Both ways seem to do a lot, but nothing that breaks the puzzle immediately that I see. Hmm. And also, it doesn't rule out any options here. It could still be a 3 and have this be a 4, 6, or it could be 5, 6, or 2, 9. Oh, this can't be an 8. Oh, that's actually bigger than I realized. This, this can't be an 8, which makes this an 8, and this can't be an 8.
Maybe that's not as big as I hoped. This can't be... This must be a, just a random high digit. Yeah. Hmm. This must be a high digit, but we don't know what. And this must be a high digit because as well. So that is three of the four high digits in the column. Not quite super helpful though yet. Trying to see if anything else matches up down here. If this is a 6, 7, this is a 9, I guess. That's not, I don't think, super helpful. Can we look at this one, maybe? I don't see that anything is really restricted. Like, there's single cells that are restricted. Like, this can't be a 7, but that doesn't mean that this can't be 137, I don't think. Okay, this way, it can't be 245. If this was 245, this these can't be 4 because of this 4. So this would be like this. But then we have three two fives in the column. We've ruled out one option. So this option is not... It's not that option. What about 416? Is there any problem? I don't see a problem with that. That would be a 9. That would be a 7, 8. That would be a 3, 5. That's all fine. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> if this is If this is a 3, that means this is a 3, and then we're going to have a 3 on the line? Which means it's either 236 or 137? Which neither of those seemed like that would be a problem? I guess if it was 137, this would be a 1, which puts a 1 here and puts a 1 here? I don't know. I see. in this column. This so this okay. Here's something. Although we've basically already ruled this out by process of elimination. This line has a one or a three on it, because if we look at this column, this can't be a one or a three, and actually none of this stuff can be a one or a three. So we can at most hide one of one or three down here, but then the other one has to go on the line. But that doesn't help all that much. Actually, no. This can't be 1, 3. If this is 1, 3, this is 7. And we know that 7 is not allowed. So we can't put both of 1, 3 down here, up here. So we must hide one of them. So this can't be a 5, which makes this a 5. Which literally does nothing else. But it is technically progress. Is there another line that I just haven't like looked at? I think these are the only two lines I haven't super analyzed. These because these two digits are the same. And it goes up here and then the other this one also goes up there. And it's the opposite one. 
I don't see how to use that. Yeah, I don't see how to use that. Um, okay. Is there anything else that's super restrict? It's just this one three that's super helpful up here. It's like two five is also restricted, but we could put a two or a five right here, and I think it'll be just fine. Although no, we can't have a five on the line because we don't have because it's not exactly two four five. We can't have a five on the line. So five is in one of these two spots in this column. Oh, that doesn't help. Um, okay. Let me scan, scan, scan. Is there just some basic Sudoku that I'm missing? But oh, this can't be an 8. That, I mean, technically that's basic Sudoku that I'm missing, but it doesn't matter. I don't think. 8 is in this row, which we already knew because we have the 8s marked out down here. This is One of these is an 8. So I guess if 8 is on this line, if this is 1, 2, 8, then these 8s match up. And we will put a 8 up here. Is there any reason why this couldn't be 8, 1, 2? This must have a 1 or a 3 on the line. We already knew that. Okay, never mind. I literally just went over that for like five minutes. Okay. Seven. Seven is in one of these three spots, one of these two spots. Can I rule it out of either here or here? Because that would at least that would at least impact up here. Like we could rule out seven up here. Oh, it can't be one three seven. Be oh wait, no, it could be one three seven. We just can't have both one and three in these two spots. Exactly. We could have a, I think, at least, we could have a one, like a one here and a three here, and then into putting the seven there. I think that would be fine. It's just that we can't have one and three in these exact two positions. If this is a three, this is a six, so that's, I was thinking like, oh, can we put three and eight here, because then that would break here, but no, three and eight would be eleven, and then we would have two, and that would be thirteen total. Okay, so one of these is a two. Can we... Do we know anything? Here. So these high digits are up here. So whatever high digit on here is going to go up here, or down here. That doesn't really help. That One of the high digits is in one of these three cells. That's not that restricted. We kind of could have guessed that probably one of the high digits would have been in those three cells anyway. <laughs> Um, I guess whichever high digit in here is also in here, so two of these are high digits. That's a little bit more interesting. Because, yeah, if we, if we put, if we make this one, four, six, then six would have to be along here. If we make this one, two, eight, work in eight, go in row three, it must be along here. So six or eight is going to be in here. Along with whatever high digit we put on this 11 pair. So here's something I'm just thinking of. I don't know if this is helpful or not, but I haven't done anything in the past 10 minutes, so I'm kind of grasping at straws. Whatever low digit I put on here. Let's say this is 2, 9. Let's say it's 2, 9. Whatever low digit I put on here is going to match up with these and mean where can we put that, whatever the low digit is, let me, let me color these. That might be better than just saying whatever low digit is here while I'm selecting random cells. So whatever low digit is in yellow is going to kind of match up with the low digit in pink because it's the low digit in yellow is either 2 or a 5 and pink has both of those. So where are we going to put the low digit in yellow in column 7? Well, it can't go in any of these, so it'll go along here. So if yellow is 5, this must be a 5. If it's 5, 6, 
this is a two. So this will be one six. This will be a four. I don't see why that would break. So what if this if this is five six, this is two. If this is two nine, this is a five. And the two would have to go up here, but the two could go here and it could still be. Darn, I was hoping I could at least rule this down to like just two options or something. I did say earlier, if this is 6, 7, then this is 9. But if this is a 5, the 6 is up here, because we have 5, 2, and then 6 is forced onto this line. So we don't break the puzzle that way. Hmm. I think this is important, though. Oh, well, I we guess we already knew that. I was going to say, whatever yellow is, is not here. But, of course, ye whatever yellow is, is not here. Because these both of these cells see this cell. So it couldn't be the same as yellow. Maybe if we start coloring some stuff. Um, let's get rid of these colors. So this will be... Uh, let's avoid using light. I like the dark yellow, but mixing light yellow and dark yellow together is not very helpful, in my opinion. Um, so we'll do, whoops, we'll do the darker color for the higher of the two digits. Um, so this is, this is going to be dark green. So this is going to be light green. And these are going to be these two. Unfortunately, if this is a six, it could be on this line. Oh, this is a dark green. Oh, wait a minute. Does that mean anything? So this is a dark blue. So dark blue is in one of these two cells, and dark green is in one of these two cells. So dark green must be down here. Of course dark green must be down here because dark blue is right there. So dark green must be along here. Wait a minute. If... No, because, no, I said, if this is 5, then this is 6. Ah, oh, darn it. So if this is 2, this is 9. Oh, so that is options. This is 5 or 9. If this is a 2-9 pair, let's just say 2-9, like, whoops, 2-9, I said. If this is 2-9, then this is going to be a 5. How did I say that? If this is 2-9, this must be 5, whoops. Five six, and we'll just forget about this cell right here. How did I end up? How did I end up knowing that? One second, back up. Now I'm confusing myself. Fifty five minutes into this puzzle, and my brain is getting a little dead. So that's light blue. That's dark blue. That's dark blue. That's dark green. Sure, that makes sense. And that's just opposite of that. That's opposite of that. Yeah, those make sense. And then this... Okay, so dark green down here is the opposite of this cell. So dark green is going to match up. So dark green is always in here. And light green... This is light green, light blue. So light green... And dark green are always going to be in this triple. And this is... dark. This has dark blue and something else. So if this is, again, if this is 2, 9, or 9, 2, it doesn't matter which order, then we're going to have 2 and 9 in both of these. We can't put a 9 on the 11 line, so this will be a 9. If instead this is 5, 6, then we need to put 5 and 6 in this area. Um, and we can't put a 5 on the line because that would be 1, 5, 5. Obviously that doesn't work. So 5 down here and 6 up here. So I think this is right. This is a 1 dark green, light green triple. <laughs> It's always fun how that works out. Um, yeah, I think that's I think that's all right. I don't know what that does for me, but I think that's all right. I guess dark green is up here. 
So dark green is not on this line. But we don't know that 6 is dark green, so that doesn't necessarily mean much. Uh, we could make this, like this, but I don't know if that's helpful or not. Um, so this has the lower digit of both on there. Dark green is not necessarily on this. If it's it's dark green, if it has a six, it's light green if it has the two. Hmm. I don't. Okay, I guess this is five or nine. We did prove that much. This is a five or a nine. I don't know how helpful that is, though. It does feel like I'm closer to proving something. If this is dark blue, this will be 8, this will be 7, this will be 7, 8, it's a 1 there, I think that's fine. Yeah. I don't see why that breaks anything. It does feel like we're close though, doesn't it? So if this is light green, one of these is light blue? Now, I was going to say light green must be on this line, which would make it a 2, but it, since light green is ruled out of here, but light, it could also be that this 5 is light green. So this, this line up here can't have a 5 on it. We know that because it can't be 2, 4, 5, because this would be a 4, this would be 2, 5, which would break the cell. We went about that earlier. So 5 is in one of these cells. If this is a 5, or this is a 5, then this is a 5. Is that a problem? Or anything that we can learn from? Yeah, if this is a if this is a 5 it means light green is 5, which means this is a 5 and that works out. It doesn't break anything initially. What if this is 9? We couldn't have 9 on any of these. I don't see a reason why that was a problem. Though we'll put a 2 on here, as light green would be 2. I guess I can color these two. I guess light blue is always in this column up here. So could this ever be a five? If this is a 5, that means this is a 5, and then this is a 5. Which means that light green is 5, which then means that this is also 5. So I don't think this can ever be a 5, for whatever that's worth. I am really grasping at straws here. It's been like 15 minutes since I've made any progress. Hmm. No, we don't know. Never mind. 
I was going to say five must be up here, but five doesn't have to be up there. It could be a two is up there. We do know that one high digit is up here. Because we have three of six, seven, eight, nine. So we have another high digit up there that obviously can't be the 9. Could this be a 9? Would that even help to prove that this is not a 9? If this is a 9, then this is a 5, this is a 5. This is a 6. I don't see that that's really a problem. Sorry if you can hear my chair, I need to leap back and stretch or else I'm going to explode. Okay, so we said earlier that whatever digit in here, whatever the high digit in here is, it's going to be along here. And that high digit is not a 5. It's, by high digit, I mean 6, 7, 8, or 9. So one of these digits is a 6, 7, 8, or 9, and it'll be whatever this one is. So this gray is going to be in here. Likewise, whatever the high digit in here is, which could be dark green, it could be a 6. Whatever the high digit in here is also going to be in here. So what does that mean? Could this be light... Could this be light blue? If this is light blue, then this is 5, which makes light green 5. Which means this wouldn't have a 2 or a 5 on it. Is that a problem? It would make it 137, which would put the 7 over here, and the 7 here, and the 7 here. I don't see why that's a problem. Make this a 4. I don't see why that would be a problem either. I really feel like I'm grasping it, Sterling. <laughs> I've said that like five times now. I do not know. It's probably something silly that I'm just not seeing. Okay, three is on one of these. Which means either this is three eight or this is a three. If this is a three, this is a one. This is a three, that's fine. This is a four, this is a one. This is if so so either this is three eight or this is three eight. If this is a three, one, four, eight. So we always have, so we always have an 8 down here, or up here, I don't know, I'm getting confused with ups and downs, which means we always have an 8 along here, which we weren't going to put an 8 on the line anyway, but now we can rule that out, I mean. So it's 3, 8, no matter which way we go. That doesn't really do anything. It will set which spot the dark green is, though. Because 3, 8 will say which one is 8 down here, which will set dark green here, which will set dark green here, which will basically organize this whole... It'll basically organize this whole column. Or set of two columns. But that's it. Okay, what if it's not 3, 8? Um, or what if, if it is 3, 8, then this is a 4. If this is 3, 8, this is green is 5, 6 then. And if this is 3, 8, green is 2, 9. Is there any way that could cause a conflict based on that? Hmm.
If this is an 8, then 8 is going to go on the line, which is going to make 2 go on this line, which is going to make this 2, 3, 6, because it can't be 1, 2, 8. So if this is an 8, if this is an 8, we need a, our 2, oh no, we don't necessarily know 2 is up there, what am I talking about? Oh, yeah, we do. No, no, we don't. Never mind. 8 is going to be on here. So this is going to be a 2, 2, 8, 1. Makes this a 3. That does break the puzzle, does it? Maybe I'm, I think I'm confusing myself. If this is an 8. 8 is on here, which makes this a 2, 8, 1. Which is going to put a 1 up here. Couldn't be one two eight. It would have to be one four six or one three seven. One with the three over here. Are either of those a problem? One four six. Yes, that would be a problem because we couldn't. We would have too many high digits. This would need to be two and five. 1, 4, 6 would make this a 9, this is 7, and this would be unfillable. So this would have to be 1, 3, 7, which would also be unfillable. Because we'd have too many high digits. So this can't be an 8. An 8 can't be on here, so this must be an 8. Well, that just broke open the whole puzzle. Let me go through that again, because I'm not entirely sure that I did that all right. So eight must. If this is a three eight, if this is a, if this has a three, then this is an eight. That that's obvious because it has to add to eleven. If this is not three eight, then this is three. This is one. This is four. This is an eight. Just simple Sudoku. So either this is three eight or this is a three, which forces an eight here. So eight's down here, which matches up with the eights here and puts an eight into row three down here. Which means we can't have one two eight here. Now, if this is an 8, that's going to make this not an 8, and make this have to have an 8, which makes this a 1, 3. Now, which puts a 1 up here, because we need a 1 in column 3. So this is either 1, 2, 8, which doesn't work because of the 8 here. 1, 3, 7, which puts 1, 7 here, but now we have um, 7, 8... We have five high digits, which is obviously too many high digits. And if we do one, four, six, the four must go here because of this four, and this is one, six, and again we have five high digits. So we can't put an eight here. We can't put an eight here. Now where do we put an eight in the column? It can't be up there because we just ruled it out there, and it can't be on the line because it must be over there. These can't be eights, these can't be eights, so this is an eight. So this is not an 8. So this is a 2, 6 pair. This must be a 3. This must be a 1. So this is not an 8, and this is an 8. Which puts a 3 up here. So it needs to have a 3, so it's either 2, 3, 6. Uh, actually, let me just delete the ones I don't need, I think. So it's either 2, 3, 6, or 1, 3, 7. How does 236 look if we... Do we know any way the 236 looks? I don't think so. Um, oh, this is a 26, which just makes this a 9, which is going to set... Never mind, that's the easier way to look at this. This is going to set a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, this is a 5, 6, 6, 6. No, this is not a 9. Um, this is the dark green... This is light green. Um, this three is going to make this one, three, four, one. This is not five, six. This can't be an eight. That's what it was. This is the eight, and it's not colored. This can't be the dark green, so this must be two. Actually, this is just a nine. Whoops, I always do that backwards the first time. <laughs> Which makes this a 2, 5, which makes it like 
this. This is a 7. This must be a 5, 6. Could I have figured out that this must be blue? I don't... Maybe I could have. I don't know. Maybe that's what I was supposed to figure out. One of the things I could have figured out. 2 is light green. Which means this is not 2 and not light green. I'm just getting rid of the colors. I don't want the colors anymore. This is not 3. This is 3. So this is either 1, 7 or 2, 6. This can't be a 1. So then this can't be a 7. This can't be a 2. This can't be a 6. Okay. Uh, 2, 6. Looking over, this is a 7. This is a 6. This is not a 6. This is 4, 7. Whoops. 4, 7, 9. This can't be a 7. Oh, these can't be 2. I literally have a 2 right there. These can't be 5, so this is a 5. What's left in this row is a 6, which makes this a 2. 6, a 7, 1. 7, 1, 2. Uh, this can't be an 8. This is the 8. Um, this is a 4 or a 9. I need a 2 in this row, so this is just a 2. Um, oh, this can't be a 6. I have a 6 right there. This is a 9, 6. This can't be a 9. Oh, this is a 4 or a 9. Sorry, no, this is a this is 4 or 9 for the box, 4 or 7 for the column, so this is just a 4. And that's going to finish off the puzzle. That last step, I don't know... I'm not sure what I was supposed to do. I think maybe I was supposed to figure out that this must be light blue, but I... We're not even close to figuring that out. Um, yeah, those first few steps and those last few steps were really tough. But I do really like these equal line puzzles. Um, they're always such a joy. Let me hide Notepad. They're always such a joy to figure out because they offer such an interesting combination of just like math and often coloring and um, just like geometry of like figuring out what digits can be what sums can be where and what can you actually figure out just a lot of a lot of interesting stuff going on in equal line puzzles but also so sim like by simple i don't mean easy but just like rules wise it's not like a bunch of different rules it's just like literally one rule that's filling up the board um yeah so th thank you very much for that puzzle sktx I, I would say that was at least a four out of five um maybe if there was that first step, as you said in, in your post, that, that was a tricky first step to figure figuring out what n equals. That was definitely tricky. And then at the end, I needed... I, it was tricky to figure out um, the final arrangement. There was just like that one step that just basically unlocked everything. And I do kind of feel like I was missing something obvious, but I don't know what it was. Maybe it was that light blue ended up... Or sorry, that blue ended up being on this line. But I don't know if I could have proved that or not in any reasonable way. Uh, like, I wasn't even looking in that area, so I, I don't know. Um, but maybe I should have been, you know? Maybe, maybe that was just my bad. Uh, I would say, yeah, four out of five difficulty, probably. But thank you very much for this puzzle. That was great. Great fun solve. And thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time.